everyone and welcome back to my channel how are you all doing today I have a ton of cleaning motivation for you in this video so I hope you are ready for it we have to clean up my room a little bit get this bedding thrown in the wash and then we are going to move on to cleaning up downstairs the kitchen and the living room area need to be picked up and cleaned as well so we are going to take care of those today and then I'm also going to start some deep cleaning that I have on my to-do list that I would like to get done over the next couple of weeks I'm gonna try not to cram it all in today but we are going to do some deep cleaning tidying up and just getting this house back in order i'm going to put some new sheets on my bed and just get everything all nice and straightened up and freshened up for the new week i don't really care about happy ever afters. something about you gives me hope something about you This may be your first time here. I wanted to introduce myself. My name is Bronte. I am a mom of two and I live in Las Vegas with my husband, my two kiddos, and my two pups. And I have a ton of cleaning motivation on my channel every single week as well as DIY home makeover videos. I really love doing those. And if those things are what you are interested in, I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button down there and make sure your bell notification is turned on. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for sticking around and continuing to watch my videos. It means so much to me. I know you don't wanna get hurt, but you'll have to take my word that I will love you, love you right back, love you right back. You don't wanna be, wanna be left out. So I'm just going to vacuum my room up with my Shark Rocket vacuum. I'm not really gonna clean a ton upstairs, but I am going to move on to cleaning up downstairs and cleaning up the kitchen because it really needs it. Everything just needs to be straightened up, dishes need to be done, stuff needs to be picked up, and all of the counters and everything need to be wiped down. So we're gonna clean up the kitchen and then we're also going to clean up the living room as well. I have a ton of laundry to tackle, so if you're in need of some laundry motivation, that is going to be perfect for you, but we just have a lot of tidying up to do today, just a general cleaning, speed cleaning our way through the house and just getting it straightened up and back in functioning order. I usually am not actually on here, but I wanted to share my shirt with you guys. It says multitasking like a mother. This is actually one of my friend's shops and it is honestly the most perfect shirt for this video so i had to put it on and i had to share it with you guys i'm gonna put her shop linked down below so go and check it out do not mind my orange lips i was just trying on 
new lipsticks that I got from Ulta and let's just say online shopping for lipstick is not it because I didn't order orange and I got orange. Now let's get back to the cleaning. We are gonna clean the kitchen. We are gonna clean the living room. There's just all the things that need to be cleaned up. So we're gonna take care of that now and be multitasking like a mother. So I'm gonna link my friend's shop down below. She has such cute stuff. And if you are a Sailor Moon fan like I was when I was younger, she has a lot of stuff geared towards that as well. And I'm just gonna link that down below for you guys. Go ahead and check her out. If you have an Instagram, give her a follow. And I am going to tackle cleaning up the sink, the dishes, and getting that all done. Does anybody ever watch these videos of the cleaning being done super fast and wish that you could actually clean that fast in real life? Whenever I am editing a video or playing it back or watching anybody else's cleaning videos, I am always just like, I really wish that I could clean that fast. I would get so much more done during the day if I could actually clean in warp speed like this. He got me good in his pocket I know that I'm used to treat But the taste is better Oh, go on Chewing my bones And when he's done it's spinning me out I just can't help myself One for the pain No hesitation Took us again Nothing can save us, yeah I just wanna be around you Today we are going to clean up the stove area and I'm going to vacuum up all of the crumbs and stuff that are on top of it. Just makes it so much easier to clean up. But I'm also going to deep clean the microwave today because that is also very gross. There is butter that exploded in the microwave still left over from Christmas time and I just haven't gotten around to cleaning it up. So we're going to clean that up and I'm going to share a couple of cleaning hacks with you in this video. And I'm also going to share one of my favorite methods to deep clean the baseboards. So stick around, continue watching and wait for that because I'm going to share some of my favorite cleaning hacks with you guys as well. One of those being to use Windex on the black stove top. It works really well if you've been around for a while and you've watched my videos before, then you've heard me talk to you about this. But it is so, so good and it works so well that I always like to share it in my video whenever I'm cleaning my stove. You can do Windex, you can just do a generic glass cleaner. I have a generic glass cleaner from Target that I'm going to be using and it just gets everything super, super nice and shiny. And then as far as cleaning up the microwave goes, I'm going to show you that in just a minute here. Share my lipstick, taste my breath. Love me like you love a pack of smokes in the morning Share my lipstick, taste my breath Love me like you love a pack of smokes in The best way to clean the microwave, or at least I think it's the best way, so I've found using this many times, is put vinegar in a cup half a cup of vinegar, half a cup of water, and just put that in the microwave for about four minutes. Let it get steamy and bubbly up in there and it helps get the stuff that is caked on the microwave off so much easier. It makes it so much easier to wipe out and it also helps break up any odor that may be stuck in the microwave. Like my microwave smells like butter right now because butter exploded all over it. If you heat up meat or anything that has a stronger odor to it, this vinegar will help break up that smell in there and your microwave will have no more smell in there. Say you heat up fish or something and then your microwave just smells like that. This vinegar trick really helps with the odors and it really helps to break up anything that is stuck on the walls of your microwave so that it is easier to clean up. It feels like a war zone. I still care about us. How do you move on when everything goes wrong? I'm trying to find a way to get you out my head. 
Don't know how to cope with being so broken Girl, I can't forget about what we said I just wanna love you a little bit more Don't just walk away from me and close the door Baby, pull me closer now before it's over I just wanna love you a little bit more Oh, I know that it's difficult dealing with emotions But I want you to know that you'll always be on my mind Just wanna love you a little bit more Don't just walk away from me and close the door Baby, pull me closer now before it's over I just wanna love you a little bit more Oh, love you a little bit more Love you a little bit more Love you a little bit more Get you out my head Don't know how to cope with being so broken Girl, I can't forget about what you said I just wanna love you a little bit more Don't just walk away from me and close the door Baby, pull me closer now before it's over I just wanna love you So now that we've gotten the counters wiped down, the table wiped down and everything wiped down in here and any crumbs that were sitting on those counters or the table onto the floor, I am going to vacuum up using that Shark Rocket vacuum again. This is by far my favorite vacuum that I have owned. It does take a little bit of getting used to if you are switching from a regular like upright vacuum, but all in all, this vacuum works really, really well. It is affordable and I just love it. It is always linked in my description box in my Amazon favorite. So if you are looking for a new vacuum, go and check it out. It goes on sale quite often and I just highly, highly recommend it. going to tackle all of the laundry that's piled up on the couch and just get this area all straightened up. I have my pup Stormy making sure that I'm getting everything done well. She is my supervisor. I always have a child or a dog near me. Does anybody else have that same situation going on? It's always a pet or it's always a kid. I am never alone. I have somebody with me at all times watching me and making sure that I'm doing everything right.
going to vacuum up all of the dirt and the crumbs that are on the floor. I didn't end up finishing my cleaning on the day that I started. I have not been able to get my cleaning done all in one day like I used to. We just have been so busy around here now that my mom lives here and then Tegan's back in school a few hours a day. So I'm just always trying to get caught up on stuff. So I'm going to vacuum up and then we're going to fast forward to the next day where I get into all the deep cleaning and stuff and I'm going to share some of my favorite hacks with you guys. I absolutely hate when stuff sticks to my feet especially while I'm vacuuming. So you'll see me brushing this stuff off of my feet quite often. I haven't been able to find my little slippers. So that's where we're at with life. Having stuff stuck to my feet is my biggest pet peeve ever. And does anybody else hate that too? It drives me nuts. And having two dogs and two kids, it happens quite often. So I'm always vacuuming. So the Shark Rocket vacuum is a must have. I highly recommend it. Come run away. Don't be afraid. We'll be okay. And I know it's the right thing to do. Let's break away. All colors will fade. Let's go our own way. Now's the time to decide what to do, and I'll stand by you. By you. I'll stand by you. Now's the time to decide what you do. Let's break away. Get up, get up, do it, break away. Get up, get up, do it, break away. It's always mixed emotions. The first step is always hard. When you walk out of the doorway, but that's just the place to start. The only thing I ever wanted starts with us taking the chance. Not like anything we've done before. Oh, oh, yeah. Now it's time for something better. And time for us to follow our dreams. No, we can't stay no more. Now let's start tackling some more deep cleaning stuff. First off, I need to wipe down this fridge because I have a two-year-old, I have a five-year-old, there's fingerprints all over the place. And I'm gonna use this stainless steel cleaner by Wyman. It works really, really well. You're supposed to go against, or you're supposed to go with the grain on your stainless steel. And then you can also just leave a little bit of it on there and your stainless steel will soak it all up. I know it kind of just, goes against what you feel like you should be doing but you don't need to completely buff it out i learned that tip from go clean co which is one of my favorite instagram accounts she has the best cleaning tips they have their own cleaning company and always shares really good tips that's where i get a lot of my tips from such as the one that i'm going to show you for cleaning the baseboards and mopping up the floors this is something that i've been using for a while and i keep seeing more and more people start to use it on their channels which is so cool but another tip that I have for you, if you have hard water like I do and your refrigerator drips like mine does, is to use a little bit of vinegar, put it on a paper towel or a cloth, and just let it sit where the water calcium stuff has built up and the vinegar just breaks it up really, really easily and really, really well. So another thing that I had on my to-do list today is to clean the trash can. Does anybody else hate this? Because this is one of my most dreaded tasks. I hate cleaning the trash can, but you know, sometimes those trash bags just don't hold everything like they're supposed to and stuff gets all up in the trash can and then it smells and it's disgusting. So I'm just using some bleach spray. We're gonna wipe it down and get this trash can all nice and clean. We have one of those ones with a sensor on the top so you don't really have to touch it, but stuff gets all over it and it gets gunked up really, really badly. So we are going to take care of that today with some bleach spray and some paper towels. It was easier than, so much easier than Take me back to the, take me back to those easy summer days When we stopped at nothing, baby Yeah, we stopped at nothing, baby They couldn't take us, they couldn't change us They couldn't catch us if they tried Now we didn't care at all About winter or spring or fall We felt so alive and girl, we were thriving 
thriving on kisses and sunshine and mischief Yeah, we had one of those things Just had one of those things Ooh. I guess I've had some things to figure out But now that I'm done, I'm full of doubt Was it easy for you? Yeah, was it too easy for you? You used to say that you would always be mine But you seem to be doing just fine Now I think about you I just can't seem to stop thinking about you. So as I mentioned earlier, I was gonna show you my Go Clean Co hack and Tide plus a splash of bleach. It has to be powdered Tide, hot water, and this is the perfect way to clean your baseboards, to clean your shutters. I have plantation shutters, so mine are a lot harder to clean than just like regular blinds are because you can just wipe those down really easily. And the ones behind my sink like this are, they don't open because our sink faucet just sticks up too high. So I really have to get in there and scrub them. And the Tide Plus Bleach is really great at breaking up any dirt, any residue that has been caked on them, and also disinfects because there is bleach in it. But the Tide, the powdered Tide laundry detergent is a surfactant, so it helps break up any sticky gunk that you may have gotten on there. I don't know about you, but I'm a messy cook, I'm a messy, cleaner when I'm doing the dishes and stuff tends to splatter up onto the shutters and the walls so I'm also going to wipe down the walls and the light switches using this method but this is also what I use to clean my baseboards and it works like a charm you can use this to scrub your doors as well and get any handprints and stuff off of them and even that black dust on your door hinges this breaks that up so well I don't know about you guys but here I feel like in Vegas, my door hinges just get dirty super, super fast. I don't know if it's just because we don't have a street sweeper that comes through our neighborhood, so it's like the super nasty dust from the street, but anyways, it breaks up that black dust that collects on door hinges, and it has worked really well at cleaning up my cabinets too, so I'm gonna be doing that today, get all the handprints off, food splatters, and everything left behind from the kids and myself. If you are new around here, I recently did this kitchen makeover. By recently, I mean last summer. I can't believe how long it actually has been. About six months ago, and the cabinets have held up really well. I painted my cabinets, and you can find that whole makeover video linked down below in my description box. It's a really good one. These were old, outdated oak cabinets that needed some serious love, and I completely transformed the look of my kitchen on a budget by doing that all by myself.
Another thing that the powdered Tide and bleach concoction is good for is mopping the floors. Now you can mop the floors without the bleach in it, but I really wanted to disinfect my floors because like I've mentioned multiple times, two kids, two dogs, and a husband that's in and out of the house for work. So we're gonna disinfect the floors with a little splash of bleach in this. You really don't need a ton of the powdered Tide. I think it's about a teaspoon, a little tiny splash of bleach, and then some super hot water in whatever mop bucket you are using or whatever mop system that you are using. And this stuff works really well. It breaks up any residue that is left behind on your floor from any squirt and mop cleaners. And it just gets everything super nice and cleaned up really, really well. And I highly recommend it. So I hope that you guys got a ton of cleaning motivation from this video. Click the subscribe button and stick around for more cleaning motivation and DIY makeovers. Thank you so much for watching this video. It means the world to me and I hope that you have a super amazing day and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day.